channel and um yeah so we're gonna talk about a couple things real quick before we get into the gameplay um i tend to talk to the, about things normally when i don't upload videos uh, on certain days yesterday my internet was not good at all i barely was able to play um it was very annoying until the night time at least and then it was still bad at like twice or three times i just gave up at that point but uh yeah so that was not fun at all but it happens i guess so we're gonna get to above three uh thirty uh five thirty five today uh i don't know what we're gonna get to um obviously there's gonna be a stream tonight so who knows what i'll go down and stream who knows who, who we'll be playing with if you all guys want to come in say what's up in the stream and play with me uh, just come hop in the stream or go to the comments um, section in the comments down below in this video and leave your gamer tag on Xbox obviously um, But yeah, if you want to play let me know what your gamer tag is in the, in the uh, comments below And if you want to watch the stream the link will be in the, in the top of the description And that'll be the only link in the description for this now this video is based off of people telling me that I am playing bare bones because I am bad at normal Call of Duty, um, and I, I, and I, just, I, they message me and I don't, I don't understand it because I'm level five, I'm level 500 plus. Bare bones hasn't been out for the entire OD of the game, so I don't see where people come across telling me that I'm bad at the game, that I'm not playing, that I'm playing bare bones because I'm bad at normal Call of Duty, um, normal, I'm bad at normal Black Ops 4. So I don't see what their point is there. Um, but we're gonna play an all match of free for all and see what we can do. I need to change up a couple of classes because I, I have normal ones set up just in case. Um, but I don't really play normal. Um, I haven't played normal. Like, we played normal like a couple of times in the recent days, uh, just to see what it's really like. Um, and it's just bad. It's honestly bad. It's really annoying. The way people play is just terrible. It's campy. It's not. F it's not really that fun. I don't see how people play like it. But all in all, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot here. We're gonna put some stuff on here. We're gonna. Yeah, we don't need a perk two. Um, I probably shouldn't run quick draw on the Spitfire, but we're just gonna run with it. We're gonna put racer on it and just roll with it and um we're gonna see what we can do in a normal free-for-all i haven't played normal free-for-all in a while um but also we're gonna i don't know why that's like that we're gonna probably have to switch to the SOG or some other gun just to possibly deal with the, the bullshit that we see in this hopefully we don't get a sweat lobby full of torques but uh we're gonna hop right into it so hopefully we can find a lobby pretty quickly Barebone G Final Lobby really quickly because a lot of people are playing it. This mode, free for all, I don't know what it's like anymore. Um, I haven't put a normal free for all match in a long time. Uh, so hopefully there's n not a lot of nomads, not a lot of torques. I don't miss that. I've looked at the maps recently on my thing just to s see curiously how um, it's deferred from playing normal to barebones and where I've died mainly. And especially on Seaside, the it's map, the all. part of the map where people camp with the barricade and torque wire Eliminate at the entrance, the opposite side of the uh, tower, that is where it's really, really um, high traffic for like mesh mines and stuff. And you know they're there, you just can't hear them half the time, and it's it just happens. I don't want to use the SOG at the moment. I want to try to see if the Spitfire is good on normal still. On bare bones, I've been using it a lot, and I gave it a, I gave it, I gave it like its last shot, its last two raw to see what it would do, and it's done pretty good. Um, I was on a 15 earlier and died to uh, somebody. It was, it wasn't, it's not as annoying dying off a streak on this as it is dying off of a streak on normal, because uh, you can just die to the dumbest stuff in the game on normal. So, just a matter of figuring this stuff out. So he's a proceed master using the KN. I don't I want the Spitfire. But, I mean, it's not that bad at the moment. Um, I 
I wish there was bare bones free for all. That would be really fun. Uh, the only bad thing would be is that there's no slingshot. And with how often I like to rush, that would be very bad for me. Just because of the type of playstyle I have. This guy's dead. A lot of low lo levels in this lobby though. Oh. Um. Yeah, he didn't aim at me, game. Um. The hitbox is just still. He really just. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he watched me spawn. He basically watched me spawn. I could. I had no time to react to that. He's just there. Um. But yeah, it seems like the Spitfire is not that bad. Uh, it's just at range. It's not the best. It used to be, but I've I've grown to I've gotten used to it. Also playing with a new sensitivity. I don't know if you guys can even tell. I mean, you might be able to, like with like me, like swaying more. Uh, I, I used to play on nine nine, and I've moved it up to. 11, 11. I just want to kill a machine match. I don't care if I die to that guy. But yeah, I moved it to eleven eleven. Um, sniping has made it a, it's a li made it a little bit harder to snipe. So I turned on my sniping uh, scope sensitivity, uh, just down to click, and then also my my ADS sensitivity has always been down uh, to 0.75 because it's more practical for me. Uh, keeps my aim um, a lot better. And if y'all are having trouble aiming. And y'all play on a, even on a lower sensitivity, if y'all are having trouble, like, with the aim, uh, keeping your ah, spot on. I mean, it's camping it up in the back. What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, people tend to camp more in normal, I've noticed, than they do on bare bones. Like, yeah, you still got people that'll camp on bare bones, but it's, n it's nothing like it is on this. So, you just gotta get used to the certain way people play in the game, I guess. It's just really annoying some of the times we die just because of people that are camping in like a corner or whatever. Um, in this especially because you're more prone to, I guess. Because of more shit you can die to, I guess. And uh, people are going to tend to camp more. They would normally just because there's more stuff that they can camp with. There's barbed wire. There's mesh mines. There's barricades. There's a lot of a lot of stuff that people can use that want to camp in the game that'll sit there and camp like that guy. He's sitting there ADSing with the auger. I'm not gonna kill him with a Spitfire. I could, but it would be a lot harder than with like another gun like an AR. Call. Enemy you, just, inbound. you just gotta learn at what points to use certain things. Enemy strike team Chief deployed. Master is gonna end up winning the game probably, unless I can start getting a lot of kills and killing him. He's probably gonna win this one. We did join late though, so we'll at least hopefully be able to get close to him. Maybe beat him. Yeah, I've got plenty of time to. It's just I don't know what kind of damage that pressure is going to do. Oh, he's a strike team down as well. That's not good. If that's his strike team. That's not good at all. Yeah, it is. He's going to win because of the strike team. I didn't even hear him call that in. Enemies have destroyed your assault pack. So, I don't really want to mess with the strike team. I think they're over here. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. There's not really a point for me to. They do a lot of damage and I really don't want to deal with it. This guy should have stole my kill. I don't like that. Yeah, he's definitely going to win this because of his strike team. Um, yeah, he just, he didn't have to get any more kills himself. The strike team did it for him. Um, so, and not a lot of people will run, like, strike team on bare bones. And it, I don't, I don't dislike that. But he, he wasn't really moving around the map too much. He's also using suppression on the KM, which the KM is nasty enough. It's gotten buffed so many times. I, they're trying to put it in the meta, I guess. We'll hope we'll play one more though, since I didn't upload yesterday because of the you know the internet issues. I got a little bit more to talk about, but yeah, it's just sometimes you just get into those lobbies where people just 
They camp, sit back, wait to get their high up streaks, and then they call them in. And then they let them do the rest of the stuff, and then you just are screwed and can't do anything. We've got Nuketown, we'll get a fast game. So, hopefully it'll be good. It's about time you turned up to get your stuff. We're gonna get out of here. That duplicate, nice. nice. Definitely wanted the duplicate of that. So, yeah, these items are terrible. And if y'all saw the uh, the ICR bundle that they came out with on, um, was it yesterday, the day before, where it, it's costing you 2,000 COD points to buy the Mark II ICR and the Mastercraft and the Reactive Camo and like 10 reserve crates, don't buy it. If you, you the ICR Mark II isn't that worth it. Like the the Mastercraft, yeah, it's cool. The Reactive Camo is garbage, by the way. It's the one you think with headshots, where it just like lights up the skulls or whatever. It's garbage. Don't don't buy it. I mean, if you want the if you mainly use the ICR, and that's like your main gun, and you have the extra money to spend on it, even though it's twenty dollars, um, I think they should have given twenty reserve crates and then then the gun. That way, if people already like had the gun, you could still buy it and be like the same as buying. A bunch of reserve crates, essentially. Like, but essentially, buying ten is two thousand is two thousand cod points. So they just need to give us better deals. Um, they're bringing back stuff from from OG players. Um, kind of the same thing that that Fortnite did with the the skull trooper, the skeleton trooper outfit. I'm free for all. They made it to a way where you know if people had it originally. Or if they bought it afterwards, so that's what G Ghost guy is talking in game chat. He's using the mods, it looks like the prestige master is using the I die. Thank you. Um, so a lot of my kills stolen. I do miss having stem shot. That is one thing I wish we would have in bare bones. But it's not the end of the world. Just on the play differently. Doubt it. Play ca more cautiously. It's a matter of learning how to play without it. On Nuketown, like if we had Nuketown free for all, uh, and we had free for all in bare bones. Would definitely need stim shot because if you don't have stim shot on Nuketown, you're basically screwed. Because the how many people rush and people do these certain things on Nuketown is just the way that people play it. It's a lot. I wouldn't say it's like super campy, but it's pretty campy. Mainly just stay in the buildings, don't move around a lot. They just like this guy in here. He's been sitting in here the entire game. Like. Get messages on Snapchat, probably people want invites and stuff, and trying to record the video. You know, learn the lobby, it's the main part of Call of Duty. You learn the lobby, you learn how they're playing, what they're doing, what they're always doing on the map, where they're sitting at, where people are mainly camping. It's all about that map knowledge that you have from playing the game over and over again. ask me on occasion a lot of the times how I'm like how I play this game so well um, knowing your gun that you're using knowing how much ammo it has knowing how long it takes you to reload knowing how long it takes you to run out of ammo in a clip your map knowledge is a huge big huge thing that can change the way you play the game entirely just because of the fact that you know what people are gonna run to Getting shot at. It's all like what gun fights you should challenge or not. Like that guy challenged me, he had a good time. I was out of ammo, I was low on health. Uh, oh, if I was able to turn around on that guy. If yeah, this ghost guy, he got mad, he left. So, this is an easy win. No trouble really getting this W. 
Or and just using low streaks that you, know you can drop easily is another big thing that I like to do. Especially on free for all, if you're running, if you're running free for all, you should always be running uh, UAV and counter UAV. Just cause you don't get the UAV assist or whatever, but you get the people have to actually listen when you're shooting. Where it's coming from. Things like that, you have to focus more. They're more intended on to, to mess up on certain things. The guy in here, I hear him running around upstairs. I jump to the challenge, this guy. There we go, easy W. But yeah, so 30 and 9, not bad for Newtown especially. Uh, could be a lot better. Could end up like a, a lot of other people in the lobby though. At all, so just gonna know what people are gonna do, and know where they're at. Use UAVs. Like honestly, guys, if you're if you're playing free throw, run counter UAV, run UAV. Don't you don't even have to run a third thing, just because if you cycle those fast enough, or just run UAV even. If you cycle those fast enough, you'll always know where people are if you get the kills, and you can get easy nuked outs. That's what I've been doing for my telling myself recently. Hey, when I when I want to play a lot, when I get back to more free for all, when bare bones is gone, what's not a good mode to play when I'm playing a lot more free for all? Just run UAV and counter UAV, and go for new doubts at that point. So I might be able to drop one here for you guys before I leave to go to Florida. Um, I probably won't though. But yeah, so tonight guys, stream as always every Friday night. There's a stream. Hopefully it'll actually work. Hopefully my connection will be bad, and I hope to see you guys in there. And uh, yeah, until tonight, hope you all enjoyed. And obviously, if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below if you want to see more Black Ops 4 gameplay. And I occasionally upload Rocket League. And if you want to play with me at any time, let me know what your gamertag is in the comments below. Don't just message me on Xbox unless you message me, hey, I'm one of your subscribers. I'd like to play with you sometime, and I'll add you. I'll let you do a party if you're online. And we'll talk about figuring out when, if you can play now or whatever. So either message me, my gamer tag is right there, hype pick off, and um, just leave your gamer tag in the description as well if you're able to do that. It helps me out a lot, and my comments are notified to me every time I get a comment. It'll notify me on my phone, on my YouTube studio. So if you want to play, just let me know down below, and I'll pick y'all up. Unless you have a full six man, which you don't always have. So even if you're a bad player, we'll pick you up, we'll play with you, talk to you. And have a fun time playing the game, especially on stream. And uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch y'all in tonight's stream, hopefully. Peace out, guys.